how to imbue yourself with fire of protection, arrows around you to ward off all evil thoughts, all negative energies, and any plans of the wicked one to bring you down. Not just protecting yourself, but you and your business, you and your marriage, you and your success. If you do this, you always be protected. When they throw arrows against you, it will backfire or it will be in the form of back to the sender. It's simple. You need to get 32 needles. Three, three big needles. These are needles or needles. Get 33 of them. One, two, three, 33. That is what I mean. It's a number of higher power. This number was used by Jesus. Go and read about the number 33. Then you get cow meat. When you buy the fresh cow meat, don't buy the one in the fridge. Rather, buy the one on tabletop. Get the fresh meat, boneless, no bone. Having gotten these two items, the meat plus the 33 needles, you will cut the meat into 33 pieces. Make sure that in cutting, you make it in the smaller sizes that you alone can consume all without leaving some or giving some to anyone. So, when the things are set like this, lay your hands on it, begin to pray to God that as you are doing this direction, you are hiding yourself in the arrows of fires that if anyone tries to bring you down, it should be sent back to the person. So say all your wishes. It's all about protection. So how you want to protect yourself, your business, your marriage, your money, it depends upon you how you pray. I'm just giving you a hint as how to go about it. The subject matter is protecting yourself. So after praying, you take one of the meats, you use the needle to enter like this. You put it somewhere. You take another needle, use it to enter the meat. You put it somewhere. You take another one. You use it to enter. So all the 33 pieces of the cow meat, you have to use the needle to enter them one after the other. You take one needle, use it to enter. So, you do this. When doing then, you begin to pray. You start praying. You continue with your fervent prayer. The day you will do this should be the day you were born. Do it early in the morning when you have not eaten. You get up. You prepare this powerful protection direction. So you pray whilst you enter the needles into the meat one by one. If what you are seeing, they are big, you know how to make it smaller so that you yourself can consume it because you are going to consume it alone. No child, no husband, no friend. Because you are protecting yourself. If your husband also wants to protect himself or... Anyone want to protect himself or herself, the person must also do same. So all the 33 on the way of using the needles in entering them one after the other. One after the other. Pray to God. If there's any evil entity that you have been sold to destroy you, some people, their life has been sold to the enemy's camp. So always, they are being tormented. They are being harassed spiritually. And when spiritually you are weak, it affects everything about you because spiritual controls the physical. If you know this, you also be able to balance your life in such a way that it's not all about how you, you look physically or people see you, but what is in you should be always on fire. If what is in you is always on fire, good things will come your way. But if you are light in spirit, money will not chase you. 
people will not recognize you. You will start business, but along the way, you will fall flat. So, not just only physical management that makes one complete, or not your education that will make you a great person, but the spirit in you also counts. So when the spirit in you is not active, and it's always dull, oh, forget. You will send you to White House. You will get an enemy there. Hatred all over. It will give you millions of dollars. Start company. Start business. Within one month, you will fall flat. Everything will come to a halt. So, work on yourself. Position yourself in such a way that the God in you will always be active, defending you and making you progress in life till you are called to glory. Everyone will die. But whilst we are on earth here, don't allow any spirit to come. When it's prepared like this, you're going to cook them. After cooking, you eat all by yourself. So you will cook it with sea salt and that of onion only. So you cut your onion into smaller pieces as how you prepare the soup or the stew. In that way, you add your salt, cook the meat very well. When you finish, just pour it in your silver. Then you naked yourself in your room. So you are doing this early in the morning. You naked yourself. Let the meat be in front of your legs. Pray over it. The intention is for protection. To ward off evil forces. Bad energies. Any spiritual attack. Sit down. Then begin to take the meat. One by one. You are only going to eat the meat. From the nether. Not the nether. So you then touch the meat. You rather hold the, the nether like this. That is the nether. Hold the nether and then you just be eating the meat one by one. So you eat one, you put the, the nether somewhere here. You eat another one, you put the nether somewhere here. You eat the other one, you put the nether somewhere here. So you don't touch the meat. You are going to be holding the nether in consuming the meat one after the other. One after the other. When you are done eating the meat, gather all the 33 needles. Go and bury them at anywhere you want. You are burying them to mother eight. You bury them to mother eight. That is all. You have protected yourself against any evil plot. So, watch the video again and again to understand the process. So that you don't make a mistake. But to emphasize, you are not going to consume the needles. And you are not going to touch the meat when eating it. So you just have to hold the meat. Or you hold the needle like this. You see how the meat is hanging on it. Then you just eat the meat. Gather the needle somewhere. So that is it. <clears throat> Stay blessed.